In a heart-fluttering moment, Dohi and Guan ultimately tied the knot, yet as they appeared joyous exchanging marriage vows before a sizable audience, the reality concealed behind the scenes reveals a union founded on a stringent contract, uttering, the contract concludes upon the fulfillment of all objectives. The couple gradually draws near, sealing their matrimony with a kiss, a pledge symbolizing their love. And so commences their poignant facade of marital bliss, marked by Guan's attempt to transport numerous moving boxes to their newly shared apartment. However, Dohi promptly ejects him along with all his possessions, sternly instructing him, get rid of all your superfluous belongings, while Guan furtively arrives home in the late hours, only to discover Dohi awake and anticipating his return in the dimly lit room. The romantic vibe lingering after Guan's unexpected physical contact captivates Dohi, challenging her to avert her gaze and reminding herself that this isn't a genuine marriage, yet her composure falters when she crosses paths with Guan, who softly murmurs, once again, I'm the sole one truly invested in this, heightening expectations for a sweet yet dangerous romance with the demon. In a tense moment, Siok Hoon grows wary of Gu Wan and endeavors to uncover more about him, while Siok Min, frustrated with Dohi, directs a gun toward her from behind as she walks away, and a gunshot is heard, prompting Gu Wan to rush in, though it becomes apparent that Dohi is unharmed and Seok Min fires a shot into the air, relieving the tension.